Hello everybody, AJ from modernintel.ca. I'm gonna do a disassembly on the TM7. Basically, I'm just gonna take it apart, uh, show you how to clean it, and then pretty much just put it back together. It's, for being uh, the type of gun it is, it's pretty uh, straightforward. All you have to do is just undo all the screws, take the two shells apart, and then uh, that's pretty much it. All the, the workings on the inside is all pretty much one big piece. So basically, start off by taking off anything that uh, doesn't really need to be on there, like the foregrip, uh, the neck, and the barrel. Once you have everything off that doesn't really need to be on there, uh, start off by taking out the uh, main body screws. There's three at the top, and then there's four kind of in the middle, or at the bottom, I should say. So go ahead and start doing that. So once you have the seven screws out, three on top, four on the bottom here. Just set them up so that you know which ones are the top, which ones are the bottom. And then from there, you're gonna have to take out four of the uh, grip screws. There's two on each side. So you're gonna have to take a smaller Allen key and loosen them up. Once you take the four grip ones out, you'll notice that the two top ones are smaller. Uh, put them in their own separate pile. The two bottom ones are a little longer. They'll slide off the rubber grip, put that aside, and then you'll want to unscrew the two bottom ones that were under the rubber grip. Go ahead and do that. And these ones are different than all the other ones. These, were, these ones are flathead. They're completely flush with the, the grip body. Once you have them out, you pretty much just take the whole side off. Now, uh, because it's electric, um, it's gonna have some wiring connecting the two bodies together. Make sure you, uh, you undo the one clip that's on this half of the body from the other one. Just grip it and slide it off and then you can clean this one however. Uh, make sure you don't want to get any water or anything like that. Just maybe take a little damp cloth and then just clean it off. Um, now the trigger is kind of weird. It's got its own little like little bracket thing. Um, I don't know if you can see but to put it on there there's a big circle piece there and you uh, insert the longer straight piece into uh, into the middle of these uh, what was it, five little knob things there and put the rounded edge around this one so that it's kind of right behind the trigger so it gives the trigger a little bit more spring and then you put that aside and then you'll want to take off the uh, stock so just pull it back there and then put that aside. And then you can pretty much just take the whole inside of the gun apart, just like that. And that's pretty much all the insides. This half of the body is completely useless, so you can just throw it away there. Clean it however which way you want. And to get inside here, if you need to uh, lube up or clean or anything like that, um, there's a screw at the bottom here, you can kind of see it, uh, you want to unloosen that, and then put that one aside.
then take one of your allen keys and put it in the, uh, the velocity adjustment and then kind of give it a pull and this whole plug part will come out and you can just lube that up however which way you want then you're gonna have to stick your finger in there to get out the bolt stick your smallest finger in there just to try to get a grip on it and the whole bolt will come out and if the spring didn't come out with it you're gonna have to kind of dig in there and maybe give it a little bit of a jiggle and it'll pop out now the spring goes on only one way um, if you try to put it on the wrong way it doesn't really go on there usually when you put it on right you'll uh, you'll hear a click you, I don't know if you heard that or not and then it, it's on there good whereas if you you put it on the wrong way no matter how much you try it's still just gonna fall off so make sure you put it on there right give it a good click clean it off and you can pretty much see right through right and then just to put it back together you pretty much do the reverse of taking it apart uh, throw it in there push it in there good throw in the power tube there now at the back of the laser there's a bit of a, a silver nipple make sure it goes into uh, the hole at the top of the plug there and it'll continue to bounce back so you're gonna have to hold it there while you take your your one uh, one silver screw here and uh, just with both hands kind of just screw it in there finger tight that's a complete disassembly of the TM7 now we're just gonna put it completely back together so take one half of the body doesn't matter which one and put it back in there And then put your battery slider back in its rails, like that. Take your stock, put the, uh, the separator in there, and then uh, give it a jiggle. Make sure it's completely in. You'll see that uh, just inside the, the main body, there's it's a bit it's grooved a little. Make sure that. Uh, the release, the stock release is uh, just outside of that. And then when you want to put the other other half together, make sure you connect the two wires again. And then just pretty much clip the side on there. Once you have the two halves together, make sure you uh, Give it a good look over. Uh, make sure there's no gaps with any wire sticking out, especially at the top here. Uh, if you don't realize that the wire is sticking out and you screw it all back together, tighten it all the way down, you could clip off that wire and then you just ruined your gun. So everything looks good. So then start from the bottom and you all put in your, Your screw that would be under the uh, the rubber grip there. Go ahead and do that. And then slip on your rubber grip and screw that on.